a large majority of the multifamily housing stock is going to be your up down not bad investments but this right here is the cream of the crop it's kind of like baloney i like baloney baloney's good love me a baloney sandwich but it ain't flaming young okay baloney ain't bad but it ain't flaming young welcome to the investment properties for sales show folks thing is selling at or above list we are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education we take you to the video tour won't wise to be giving it to you straight folks if you have watched me sell properties me teach people how to sell properties me talk investment strategy what i'm about to say may sound like a broken record but every time we do a new show there's a new investor out there looking to learn, so I got to say it again. Side-by-side -side duplexes, folks. The side-by-side -side duplex is by far the better investment option than the up-down. The reason being, when you have a side-by-side -side duplex, you typically get much more in rent, number one. Number two, more importantly... It feels more like a single family home. You have separate basements. Tenants have multiple floors. You get less tenant disputes and you get longer average tenancies, which reduces your turnover and returns are killed. Nothing more. Returns are destroyed, attacked, karate kicked in the face by nothing more than turnovers turnovers are the devil we don't like turnovers as real estate investors right so i love side by sides right and i've said this many many times but it's very important when you're talking about the property i got today pow 261 east 250th street euclid ohio 44132 i priced it at 124,900. now uh that address is actually i guess kind of misleading uh I, I should have said 261 and 263 East 250th because when I say side-by-sides, folks, are, are like two single-family homes smashed together, uh, in this case, it actually is. It actually is two single-family homes, right? Uh, in this market, when you see side-by-sides, typically it's one property, one parcel. Uh, in this particular situation, they are technically two completely separate parcels, 261 East 250th is one parcel, 263 East 250th is another parcel. So when you have a building uh, that is attached to somebody else's building, uh, that can create problems. Like, for instance, if you needed to replace the roof, you would technically have to speak to the other owner and try to work something out. But what if they're a total shithead, right? That could create a problem, okay? So I do caution investors uh, from buying half. But luckily for you folks, uh, both are available, same seller. As a matter of fact, I actually sold both of these uh, to the same seller back in 2018, right? So uh, if you guys are searching the comps, they are a little bit misleading, okay? Because uh, I sold, uh, if you like review the comps and you review the MLS back from when I sold these to the current owner back in 2018, uh, you'll see 261 sold for like 47 and a half and then 263 sold for 47 and a half, right? So I sold them both of them uh, for like, you know, what is that? Like 95K, right? In totality somewhere in there. Uh, so it's almost 100 grand is what I sold them for. So don't think that somebody else got to buy uh, the whole complete duplex, both units, uh, for under 50K four years ago. Not the case, right? He paid almost 100. But, of course, pricing in 2022 is much higher than pricing was in 2018. So 124.9 is the price. And the photos you've been looking at, folks, uh, that's what the units look like. Uh, prior to him taking it over, him buying it, right? He has not had to do a turnover in those four years, right? So it looks just like it did back then right now. That is what I'm talking about. When I say you don't need to do as many turnovers when you get something like this, I'm serious, man. The same tenants that were in there for years before he bought the sucker are still in there today in 2022, that's why when you have the opportunity to grab these side-by-sides or these things where they're both actually two actual single-family homes smashed together, you want to take that opportunity, right? Now, here's the thing. Where we're at today, 2022 pricing, market rent on each of these is about 900 When he took the building over, 
Uh, he had those tenants in their long-term tenants. He has opted uh, to keep them below market rent. So they're currently paying 750. But here's the thing, man, at 750, still cash flows at the price he paid, still cash flows at the 124.9 that you'll pay, right? And he's taking my advice, right? This is a guy that does his own PM. He's taking my advice. He has chosen uh, to, um, what's the word I'm trying to say? Uh, he has chosen to uh, <coughs> put tenancy, length of tenancy ahead of actual monthly rent. He's prioritizing keeping people in his units and not during turnovers versus trying to max out the rent. And that is something that I've been teaching on my various shows on Holton Wise TV for years. I believe that is the best and most profitable way to run a rental property. I would rather have tenants pay me seven fifty in each of these units and stay in there for ten years than tenants who are going to pay me 900 but only stay there for two years, right? The guy in that scenario getting 750 per unit and having 10 years stay, that's the guy that's going to make the most money, folks. I know a lot of you think it's the other way around, but you would be wrong, and I would know that because I have a freaking $75 million rental portfolio, folks. I've done this a time or two, right? So it's up to you if you'd like to increase those rents, but what I'm providing you right now with is the opportunity to pick up a super stable investment property with the best possible layout if you have the opportunity to get properties like this you absolutely have to take that opportunity unfortunately here in the cleveland market a large majority of the multifamily housing stock is going to be your up down not bad investments but this right here is the cream of the crop it's kind of like baloney i like baloney Bologna's good. Love me a bologna sandwich, but it ain't flaming young, okay? Bologna ain't bad, but it ain't flaming young. This is the flaming young of the, the multifamily space. And it's uh, pretty much turnkey. Only thing you guys got to worry about, and I'll have my guys put this up on the screen next to me here, is we got two point of sales, right? Reason there's two of them is because it's technically two separate houses. And we're talking like in totality, 5K of work uh, or less, right? Just a little ticky tack stuff, like. Uh, on the exterior of the home that the city comes in and wants done, right? When you see uh, point of sale reports like this, you guys got to know, you got to understand this. In the Cleveland market, there's uh, a whole bunch of suburbs, right? Euclid, Lakewood, Garfield Heights that require the city to come out and do a point of sale inspection anytime a property is sold. And when it's sold, you, the buyer, have to assume the violations or the seller would have to clear them. Uh, such small, minor, simple stuff. Uh, sellers like, yeah, I don't feel like doing any repairs. Just have the buyers assume them. And we ended up going with a lower sales price of 124.9. If it was PLS clear, we'd be charging a little bit more, probably about 10K more, okay? Uh, but it's like less than 5K worth of work, folks. Uh, if you need a copy of the point of sale inspection report via PDF, we could send that to you. You will be required to assume those violations. If you would like Holton Wise to handle the property management for you after this closes, that's not a problem. Us handling this point of sale report for you will be no issue. So if you are interested in doing that, uh, you need to send in your offers to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. If you want to finance these, include your pre-approval letter. If you want to pay cash, include your proof of funds. Just so you know, though, uh, when we do go to finance these, depending on how your uh, mortgage lender wants to write it up, we may have to break this out into two separate transactions. So say you and the seller go under contract uh, at $125,000, right? Uh, that will be the price for both of these. We may need to break it off into two separate agreements at, uh, what would that be? Let me just get the number right. 125 divided by 2. We might need to break that off into two separate agreements at 62 and a half to satisfy your lender and your underwriter's uh, requirements. Because, again, it is technically two properties you're buying i mean if you really needed to down the road you could sell one of them and keep the other but i wouldn't recommend that if i were you i would buy both and if i were going to sell them i would sell them both i don't think you really ever want to end up in the situation where you only own one of the two but that's just me uh that's pretty much all i got for you guys so again if you're interested send your offers pre-approval letters uh or proof of funds to sales at holtonwise.com let us know uh, if you're working with a real estate agent, have your real estate agent send those in to us as well. Uh, more information on how your real estate agent could submit their offer 
uh, will be in the MLS for them to ex uh, access all that information. They'll just have to log into their MLS and go there. As your agent, they should know how to do that. Or again, you could just work directly here with Holton Wise. And in both situations, if you want Holton Wise to handle the property management after the sale, that is not a problem. We can do it, but we don't have to. In addition, we could also provide you uh, with homeowner's insurance. So if you're looking for a landlord insurance quote on this particular property, we can provide you that as well as quotes on any of your other properties. More info on working with us and our team can be found below. Click the notes to book a free call with us to start working with us and to start investing in the Cleveland market. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.